Hey guys, it's Mike from MW3Designs here and I just made a quick video for you uh, just to kind of overview how I'm taking my files uh, and, and building them in TurboCAD or AutoCAD or QCAD and then saving as a DXF file and then getting that DXF file over into Inkscape and then using those laser draw extensions to save that drawing as an LYZ format that you can open on your K40 laser. Uh, and what that's good for is, of course, if you're trying to make parts to scale, uh, say you're prototyping or doing some different things and you want to draw something in AutoCAD that is, you know, right to spec and then open that or cut that on the K40 laser, you know, this gives you the option to do that. So I'm going to go through that real quick with you. Um, if you have any questions, you know, hit me in the comments. Uh, and also I'm going to drop uh, that uh, extension uh, link over there in the comments as well. And that's a link to get you uh, the extensions you need. Uh, also talks about Inkscape and the exports that you need if you're looking to uh, open that stuff on a Mac. So go ahead and check out this video. Hey guys, so I did have a couple of people ask me questions as to how I get my um, DXF uh, CAD drawing files over to the laser draw format using the uh, LYZ extensions uh, by Scorchworks. Um, and in one of my previous videos, I had linked to that um, file download, and I will also do that in the description of this video as well. So check it out, and uh, we'll go from here. So right now, I'm using TurboCAD, uh, and in this, this particular screen here, I have opened just a rough draft of a wine tag that I was creating. Uh, and so what I do is, right now, as you can see, I have black lines here, drawing lines. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select those lines and you're going to want those lines to be red uh, before you bring those over into uh, Inkscape. So I'm just going to change those over to red so that we're all set there. So once that's uh, in red, you're going to want to go ahead and you know save that as a DXF in TurboCAD. I have to export over to that file. So here's DXF and uh, I have already exported this file over, but we'll, we'll just say OK. And we're going to save that as the wine tag rough draft version. And we'll just say YouTube and we'll save that. And I'm just going to hop back over here to Inkscape and we're going to open that file up in Inkscape. And we have it saved here as the YouTube. And one thing here you want to pay attention to, um, if you're using Inkscape for the first time, or even maybe if you are already using it, what I noticed when I opened up these DXF files, uh, if it was set to manual scale or anything else, it would have really thick lines. Uh, if you do read from file, then it will get the information uh, to make those lines, which I believe is like one point when you're drawing in CAD. Uh, so just make sure you pay attention to this. If you do open up your file and you see it has long, uh, really thick lines, switch that over and you should be okay. You want it to be read from file. We're just gonna hit okay here. And as you can see, that opens up our screen. And you can see we have our drawing here. Uh, one of the things you want to do, especially with uh, bringing these over into the laser draw format, is you want this to be your only thing you have. You don't want any of this extra space on your page in Inkscape. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to File, uh, Document Properties, and you're going to go to Resize Page Content, Resize Page to Drawing or Selection. I'm going to just get out of there. Now, as you can see, our workspace is actually the size of the of the actual file that we, we opened up here. And now when you open this in uh, LaserDraw, it's going to be that exact size with no extra, you know, space anywhere. Um, and as, uh, as you know, you can put blue text in here and you can do an engrave and cut in one in one pass. Now, I can do a future video on that. I'm just kind of showing you how to import these DXF files. Uh, so once you get that file in there and you've resized document properties, you're just going to go to File and you're going to go to save as and once you get in here you're going to see now if you've downloaded those scorchworks uh, lyz uh, extensions you're going to see that you have that extension in here now as you can see right here we have the laser draw lyz and you have an lyz zip now i just save as an lyz because i that's what i've been doing um so I'm just going to go to lyz it's going to save it as the same thing there lyz and you're just going to hit save and uh, I leave everything here. See where you say this uh, vector cuts, export red lines, uh, vector engrave, export blue lines, raster engrave, export everything else, or you can do all. 
Uh, right now I'm just doing the cuts, so I'm only gonna export, of course, the red lines. But uh, if you do everything, if you do all, that's gonna put everything in one file, so it's gonna know if you wanna cut, which is gonna be the red lines, a vector engrave, which is blue, and then raster engrave, which is uh, everything else. Uh, which is, this is you know great for just making your laser do uh, you know a one job with, with all the things, and instead of cutting and engraving in two separate steps on the, on the laser. So this kind of cuts down in a lot of time doing that. So, uh, but like I said, I'm just gonna save as vector cuts, export red lines, and, and that's pretty much it. Um, that's all you need to do if you have those uh, laser draw extensions downloaded for Inkscape. And you can get Inkscape on a Mac, you just need to use the exports, which is what you're seeing here, that's what I'm using. And if I have any questions, uh, hit me in the comments, uh, and we're going to be posting a lot more videos. Uh, so if you want, uh, subscribe and check us out.